Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important concept if you are working with Hive, okay? So without any further delay, let me directly open our EMR cluster and then I will go to the discussion, okay? So here already I have launched a cluster in our EMR in Ohio region and this is our master public DNS. All I will do, I will copy the DNS and then here I will do SSH in it, okay? I will browse the PPK file, whatever we are having. And here I will log in with default user ID, okay? So that is pretty much done. If the font size is appearing a bit small, let me make that a little bit bigger. Then we go to change. So here we have entered in our EMR console, right? So let's try to understand one important concept related to cell scripting first and then I will discuss the application of that particular cell scripting concept with Hive, okay? So first let me do ls, okay? So in our this particular current directory, if I do current directory, you will see pwd is home hadoop, even you can check from WinSCP also, there are some files which are present, okay? So let me open one particular file lambda glue.txt. So here if I open that here you will see this is a simple code. Okay. Even from the uh, console if you want, you can basically write cat and then lambda glue.txt. Okay, it will show the code, right? So now if you see this particular code, suppose the problem statement is you have to find out where the glue word is appearing okay so if you see in this code here glue is appearing and here also glue is appearing so how to detect this one right that's what the question and for that there is a command which is called grip okay how to use that it is very simple all you have to do just write grip okay then the word which you want to find that is in this case it is glue okay i will just copy the name of Blue, that blue word. So this is basically the first argument, and second argument we have to pass in which file I want to find that. So I want to find that in lambda blue dot txt, right? So that I am passing. So that's the comment. Great. And then you have to pass what word you want to find in different lines, and then from which text file you want to find that. Okay, that's all. And if I hit enter, see here it is printing. Two lines okay first one is glue auto 3 client glue okay because in this line the glue word is appearing not only that in this line also it is appearing so that's why it is printing that line also perfect right so this is one of the very popular application related to strings if you have to iterate in different files then you can use grip command at many times in big data area also in building ETL framework this command is often helpful okay so now let's try to understand another important concept which is pipe symbol, okay? So first we understood one important application of cell scripting which is grep command using which we can search one particular word in a file, okay? Then another one I will be discussing about pipe symbol, okay? So what is that? Let me show you. So ls is basically giving us this is the list of files. If you want more detailed information, you can use ls-lrt, okay? It will give you the permission when it is modified, what is the size and the complete file name, okay? So this is kind of giving us kind of more information, okay? And now suppose in this directory, these are the files present. Now the problem statement is, you have to find out those files which has lambda word in it, okay? So in the file name, if lambda substring is present, then we have to take only those files. We have to filter only those files. That time what we can do? It is very simple. We can use then grep command only because grep command basically iterate in line by line and then it basically filter only those lines which have a particular word which we have mentioned in the grep command, right? All we have to do, we have to create some mechanism using which the output of ls lrt that is this particular output will be input of our grep command, okay? So if you see our grep command, here we have used 
this one right grape blue so here instead of blue suppose i want to find out lambda word then here instead of blue i can write lambda okay but here lambda blue dot txt instead of this we have to pass this particular output okay so whenever this kind of scenario is appearing where you have to take output of one particular command and send that as input of another command that time you can use pipe symbol and how you can use that it is very simple first you write lslrt because this particular command whatever output it will be giving in that you want to iterate and filter out using grep command right so lslrt this output we want to send to grep command okay and we want to find lambda word in it okay that's all right so output of this particular command has to be input of this particular command that time you can use pipe symbol pipe symbol is basically used for that purpose only what it will do it will take the output of this particular command lslrt and it will send as input of grep command which is second input okay and in that grep command will be iterating and it will be trying to find out where lambda word is there so obviously we will be getting this file and this file okay so let's see that if i hit enter see here it is only printing those two files lambda.txt and lambda_u.txt that is out of all the files present in this directory it is only taking those files which is lambda in it. okay so i hope you have a clear idea about how to use grep command fundamentals i hope it is clear and also we have seen the importance of pipe symbol okay now let's go back to hive which is our actual point of discussion okay so i will just write hive and here i will try to enter in our hive cell okay so it will be taking some time so here see we are now in hive console okay i can do so databases okay see here these are two database one is default one is first step so let us use first demo use first demo okay and if i do so tables here we will see these are the tables present okay so if you want to know more details about this different files you can describe those files like this way dsc formatted okay and then here maybe let's start with hello avro this is one file and then if i run this it will give it will be giving us basically lot of information that is column names their data type if any comment is there what is the database who is the owner when it is created okay what is the external location where this particular table is pointing to because here you can see right the table type is external table so external table don't store the data it just point to some data in some hdfs location or s3 location right so here we are having in this ingestion hive testing bucket we are having a afro native folder okay so if you see our s3 here in our ingestion hive testing bucket there is a folder afro native inside that some data is there to that particular data this hello afro file is pointing to okay let let us see another file basically another table so here i can take hello csv and then here i can do desc formatted hello csv okay so here i will be getting that this csv hello csv external table is pointing to this landing layer okay like that different tables have different different external stage location okay now the problem statement is suppose in a particular scenario you need to find out all the external location for different different hive tables okay that is the problem statement then how you can do that either you can use dsc formatted and get that or you can use so create table also no problem so create table hello csv okay if you do so create table hello csv it will be showing you the in the location uh, parameter here it will be showing which location actually this external table is pointing to okay and then you have to take manually this particular s3 location which is a very tedious process or boring job okay so if we able to automate this job then that will be great and how we can do that it is very simple okay what we can do if you just recall our grep command that one we can use in this particular context basically we can execute so create table hello csv and that result say we can basically pass as input for grep command and we will be only searching that line which is having s3 in it because the location basically pointing with some s3 location right in external table in this scenario so 
we will just find out those words which have S3 in it. Okay, and that way it will be giving us S3 location. So this is kind of one important concept and it might be helpful also. All we have to do, currently we are using so create table, we are executing from Hive console. But we have to apply some mechanism using which we can execute this so create table command from normal command prompt only. We, we should not enter in Hive and then execute because grape works in our normal environment, not inside Hive, right? So we have to execute this particular command outside Hive console in a normal space and that results in we have to traverse, we have to send to the grep command and grep command will filter the S3 file. Okay. Now the question comes, how we can execute some query in Hive without entering in Hive console. Okay. And for that you can use Hive E command. Okay. All you have to do, see currently I am in my normal console, not inside Hive, I have came out of the Hive. Suppose you want to execute the same query outside Hive console, you can do like this, a Hive, then hyphen E. It will execute some SQL query, whatever you are putting inside quotation, okay. And then here what I will do, I will do so create table hello csv, okay. But because there are multiple databases available in Hive, so better you specify the database name also. So what is our database, what we are using? We are basically using this first demo database, right? So I'll be taking that and then here I will be giving the complete name. Okay. First demo dot hello csv database name dot our table name. Okay. So just remember this concept. If suppose you want to execute some hive query without entering in hive console, then you can write like this way hive then hyphen e. It will execute the query whatever you are putting inside the double quotation. Okay. And then I am giving enter. Okay. So let's see whether it is working or not. Okay. So see here it is perfectly working outside Hive also. It has given us this result. Now all we have to do, we have to send this particular result to grep command. So what we can do for that? We can use pipe symbol and then we can use grep. And we will try to find out only those words which have S3 in it. That way we will be getting only the S3 external stage location, okay, for our different external Hive tables, okay. So let's execute that and let's see the beauty. See, here it is only printing the external location for our external Hive table. I can do other for other tables also. Maybe hello Afro. Let me do. Here, see, this is basically pointing to the Avro location. Okay, so if you check our actual code, what we executed earlier. So when we did the DSC formatted hello Afro. It was pointing to this particular location only, right? That is injection hive testing in that bucket. Afro native is the folder, right? Same we are getting here in injection hive testing bucket. Afro native is the folder, okay? So I hope you found this particular discussion interesting, okay? Many times in our real time project while working in big data pipeline, you might need to execute this kind of query. Sometimes it might be useful. And you can play with it with some other queries also if you want to implement, right? From sales scripting directly without entering in Hive console, okay? So I hope you have understood this. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.